Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to show the arithmetic equation and which x and y are integral. Now let's get started. First of all, we can see that the equation is really simple form. And the first thing we need to do is think about to factorizing the, the left side and the right side or combine it into one side and the other side will be equal to zero and factorize it and uh, now let's get uh, let's try with the, the method to the plot to factorize on one side and we will write uh, x square plus y square plus x y minus x square y square equal to zero and if we group the x square and y square um, plus xy times 1 minus xy and we can see that we can do the factorize of this uh, expression or even we, we try another uh, expand line xy plus y square minus x square y square so it will become x plus y plus y square 1 plus x square and then we cannot group that into the the list of product so this approach can cannot show the equation so we will move to another approach the second approach we can see that x square plus y square plus x y equal to x square times y square um, on the left side the expression here is made out remember to a uh, very uh, population popular formula like it's the x plus y square plus 2xy and then we have to minus 2xy back and x square plus y square and now we will see it become x plus y square equal to x y plus x square times y square it will be x plus square plus y square equal to x y times x y plus 1 now at the beginning we have that the uh, x and y are integers so this is the square of uh, integer and on the right side this is the rod of up two continuous integers so if the product of the two continuous integer it cannot be a square number unless one of them equal to zero so with the case if they are not equal to zero so we have to do that the product of two continuous integer are not 
a square number. So we can see that this is x plus y square. So we can assume that f x plus y greater than x y. So it means x will be x plus y will be greater or equal to x y plus one and this of course x plus y square will be greater than x y plus one multiplied by x y so so for the first case this is impossible the second case if x plus y x plus y smaller than x y similarly we will have x plus y square smaller than x y times x y plus one and if if x plus y equal to x y that's impossible because the this mean x y will equal to x y plus one that's wrong so then the square number cannot be a product of the two continuous integers so we have uh, the last case is x y have to be equal to zero or x plus one equal to zero. So if the first case happen, then we replace it into the the first one. So one. Then we have x equal 0 and y equal 0. And for the second case, x plus y, x uh, times y will be equal to negative 1. And because they are integer, so we have uh, a few guys like 1, negative 1, and negative one one so that's all then we have three a couple of pair of variable of this equation so that's it thanks for watching see you later bye